and let's see what's coming your way and um, by the way I do not read reversals with this deck so here we are four of wands and the judgment card that is a decision that is um, that is made um, for joy and stability for some of you judgment and the marriage card you might be uh, married and you have questions um, about the future of this connection and we do have the judgment right this is you using your better judgment making decisions the judgment is about second chances and reconciliation this is the energy of um, you know looking at the person and saying you know what I might give you a chance you know it's like you don't deserve it honestly but I'm gonna give it to you anyways you know might be that kind of energy that's a judgment you know it's a call of judgment discernment um, that's why you always have to right think about the experience you had and if you are ready to we do have happy endings and joy and stability for some of you of course is the energy of thank God this marriage is over and for some of you it's actually some um, bumps in a road um, and we come to terms and we have happy endings and we come back together with a judgment card. We make happy decisions and we decide to, you know, to give it a go. Four of Wands and the Chariot Cancer Energy. Again, this energy of success and moving forward, a changing environment, moving um, in with somebody, somebody moving in with you. For some of it's completely the opposite, breaking free, right? Eight of Wands, success and growth, and the marriage energy, the joy and stability energy. So we're good. Let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. The most important one. And we have patience and fight and strategies and marriage. Hierophant, Taurus energy. You might be either married with somebody, um... Either this is the energy of a Taurus in your life and we are extremely patient about a dynamic that is not um, of the healthiest, right? We might have, um, have had arguments in the past, a little bit of defensiveness, somebody might be on their high horses and, you know, um, and um, defensive about whatever discussions, conversations, arguments we have. For some of you, it's um, simply guidance, right? Libra, choose your battles, baby. Be smart, be wise, just like the Hierophant. Choose your battles and um, expect results. Be patient. You know, um, you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. But let's see before we jump to conclusions, right? So past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. We do have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies, and let's have possible outcome. Energies and blessings coming your way. And the judgment card again. And the six of cups. The yeah. judgment six of cups. This is about somebody from the past coming back. Um, Libra, again, you might be married to this person with a hierophant, but Six of Cups in Judgment, they have the same energy of somebody from the past coming in for reconciliation, um, going back to the commitment that you once shared. It's right here, right? Nothing says um, new love, but says something about, yeah, we had troubles, um, we had fights, we had arguments. Um, we gave each other a little bit of struggle and defensiveness and, um, you know, um, blocking each other. But we go back to each other. That's the energy we are picking up. Um, Libra, in the past, you and this person, but this is on your side. We do have the moon, might be a Pisces energy and the two of pentacles. I am sensing that we went through the dark night of the soul. We know the moon is about being lost, feeling lost, is about overwhelming emotions, is about fears and needing to confront yourself in regards to this commitment, how it felt, the energies, the dynamics, the fights, the conflict, the defensiveness. And um, this, is, um, this is an energy, and I know it's not the same meaning, but it's, um, it's, it feels like desperate but it's not the same meaning that I want to say, you know. 
and yet we found balance in struggle I mean if it's not a Libra to find balance in struggle who's gonna do it right and uh, we came out of it find balance right two of pentacles um, for some of you, of course, this is the energy of being concerned about money. If this was a marriage situation and we got all over the place, um, you know, in uh, many kind of, for some of you, I'm picking up energies of fighting for uh, money, resources, abundance, that kind of energy, stability. And, um, and we found our way out of it, right? That's energy. This is how it feels. Now, this person of yours, um, Libra, they were bringing to the table energies of love, three of cups, share the love, and energies of um, communication, Cupid arrows, success, and growth. They were committed to you, you know? They were committed to you in their own way, right? Um, again, energies of struggles, but at the core of it and the energy around it and this connection was one of happiness, was one of passion, um, light energies, um, friendly energy for some of you of course you might have dealt with a player three of cups we know it's the energy with the eight of wands the energy of passion and the energies of three people um, in the bedroom without consent form you know <laughs> I'm kidding but you know for some of you it can be that but a lot of emotions they had emotions and passion and they believed that this connection can be successful and can um, genuinely um, grow right and then I'm kind of sensing the third party situation where somebody got in a way because we do have the tower and the world. Rebuild and embrace. Um, that was a tower moment. That was a, an aha moment, right? That were, um, we had the red flags. That's the tower, right? The judgment call and the red flags and uh, where you had to make a decision, they had to make a decision and the decision was actually to end it. But the universe kind of stepped in and said, well, you know what? You had your time to decide, you didn't, so here I am. Now it's this decided, you know, kind of energy. Um, this is how it feels. And there was a boom, right? There was a painful boom. That's a tower. The world, somebody's world going um, up in, in pieces. And, um, but we found balance. So I have to congratulate you here, Libra, Two of Pentacles. At the end of the day, everything was up and running and we continued the journey, right? And I'm sensing moments of fear, right? That's a moon. We had dark moments. We had moments in the dark, in the shadows, uh, moments of fear of, um, you know, having to confront yourself and really look in, in the mirror and say, come on, come on, pull up. Um, you, you can do it, you know, you can, you can do it. Now let's see what are we right now. We do have the four of wands and the five of wands. So yeah, this marriage is on the rocks um, and it's not like whiskey, right? It's really um, challenging times. So we, again, this energy of conflict of changes, five of swords, five of wands, challenging times and uh, we not lose, right? We are in a dynamic where there is no middle ground right now. And we, we have to win this one. And we have to go back to joint stability. We have to go back to roots, community, family, feels, feeling stable again. And it will go down with a fight, right? That's the energy of the five of wands. I'm going to fight for this. This is very important. Now this person of yours, they do have the six of pentacles. Um, this is giving and receiving reciprocation balance, just like you. I'm just um, changing the settings. Um, just like you, actually, they want to have balance and, um, you know, they need a decision. You need one, they need one. Um, just just as much, you know, just the same. They need balance just like you. And we do have them with the strength energy. It can be a Leo you are dealing with, but this is the energy of being on their best behavior, taming themselves. This is the energy of being attracted to you and staying, um, you know, uh, put and quiet. This is the energy of desire and lust. Um, and the energy of stability, giving and receiving reciprocations. And and um, let's be together again. Let's find balance in and out of balance situation. Now mutual energies between the two of you. I love this Libra. 
uh, we do have the eight of pentacles and the ace of pentacles you might be working with this person for some of you this is the energy actually either um you know um um, going to school or working together there is this energy of but i simply love the the message here we do have dedicated effort to strengthen bond ace of pentacles giving this connection another chance right and uh working on it and making the effort this is also the energy of learning right teach me how to strengthen bonds with you right this is the honest conversation and it um teach me who you are right and Show me, show me what you want from me. Um, strengthening bonds. Let me, um, allow me to know you, right? And share myself. It's a beautiful energy. And of course, together is the nine of pentacles, energies of abundance, the energies of stability, energies of two people, two independent people coming together. Um, I'm sensing you are more going through challenging times, but on their side, they show up with such a beautiful energy, right? Of sharing the love. In the past, they came with, this is my heart, I'm giving it to you, right? That's the Three of Cups. And now they are like, yeah, it was tough, but let me, right? They show up with the light, right? So I love this. There's a sense of balance coming with that energy, a sense of stability. They might have brought a tower moment in the past here. It might have been like a big boom. Um, but then they've changed. They fundamentally changed here. I love that energy and yours I'm, I'm sensing you're still struggling we might have uh, trust issues with the moon right we don't know things might be we look at them and might look shady and um and we struggle with this because we want joy and stability we don't want to be lied we don't need explosions right we we're good um but um they look like um, honest coming to from a place of honesty. Oh, come on, Libra. What's going on, baby? Moving forward, we do have the tower again and the justice card again. Uh, this is you, of course, Libra energy. We do have rebuild and detach. For some of you, you might have to leave this person in the past. Um, energies coming your way are one of please be yourself. Please detach from this, stay in balance, make fundamental decisions. And in this deck, the justice is releasing the dove, right? We let it go. It was beautiful, right? It was a fulfilling experience. That was love. But actually, we rebuild and we detach and, and we move on, Libra. This is at least how um, the guidance we received today. And I say that because it's major arcana, so we know it's about lessons and pieces of advice. And it's interesting you struggled in the past, you struggled right now, and the universe is saying, well, let it go, let it go, let it fly, right? And be yourself, you're going to be good. You're in the energy of Libra, it will be just fine and you'll be balanced and you'll find a way out. Um, and it's about, I'm, I'm sensing it's about time to rebuild. It's, the tower shows up twice and it's interesting because this energy doesn't feel like a threat on the contrary, it's like there was the boom in the past and now it feels more like let's rebuild. Um, let's rebuild Libra's world, right? This is your world. You show up here um, as blessings coming your way and you do have the, uh, the tower. We rebuild your own world the way you want it, the way it represents you, right? Now this person again, Libra, they want to make the effort, baby we have them with the magician this is manifestation this is being clear in their head wanting to make changes life-altering events and eight of pentacles Libra, this is the energy of somebody being dead serious about you and even the universe is guiding you please go and rebuild please don't you know it's like rely on yourself and rebuild your own life and rebuild your own self and reinvent yourself right through this disruption was actually a moment um, an opportunity to reinvent yourself and the universe for some of his guiding you right let's let's find something meaningful who is libra after this uh disruption right who is libra after this ending what exactly are we going to put the effort in and this, this i mean this person for the love of god right they shared the love in the past 
they were passionate now they are quite lusty and they find you attractive and it's like give me libra i want to bite into libra kind of energy and then we have them with the magician and the eight of pentacles you know i promise baby i'll make the effort give me another chance and you'll see i'm manifesting opportunities to um, dedicate my time to you and mutual energies we have a wand between you <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> we do have ace of wands new vitality and we do have love now for some of you with the tower might be an explosive um surprise here for some of you it's like a surprise um of somebody um coming forward with love and passion and it um, might catch you by surprise but now now we kind of see the universe uh, was hoping to surprise you but now because of me that is no surprise oh i'm just saying i'm kidding i'm teasing i'm playful today so um but the idea is that is the tower and then that is all this passion and lust um coming your way ace of wands and the lovers um, Gemini energy and manifestation and boom I mean ace of wands with the tower let me tell you the um, level of damages of sweet damages that this can create you know I'm just, I'm just saying I'm teasing I'm playing um, oh boy yeah I know well lovers um, and the, um, and the strength it's um, it's kind of a lot of desire, right? Ace of Wands also. But it, it, it kind of reassures me because there is a bit of stability right in the middle of the reading, right? Um, Ace of Pentacles is the energy of investment. Is it the energy of growing slow? Uh, if we have time, of course. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. We're going to do this step by step. Um, and we do have Reconciliation and... Um, and again, reconciliation and simply love. There is a lot of love in this one, a lot of desire. But on your side, we feel a little bit challenged and a little bit afraid and a little bit explosive about, I wonder why. I wonder why. Um, and of course, you can uh, take pick up your own where you are, right? So Libra, let's ask for some guidance, baby. Let's see what exactly we need to do in regards to this commitment um, relationship. Can be a marriage again. We have two energies of marriage. So Libra, we do have get to know each other. Learn to meet another's need for love. Okay. Learn to meet another's need for love. Um, and it's interesting because it, uh, we have twice the Eight of Pentacles, so teach me how to love you, right? That's the Eight of Pentacles. Teach me how to do commitment. We love this. Get to know each other. So that is something that needs to be um, expressed, uncovered, shared, appreciated, loved. And we do have be supportive make a genuine effort to show you care get to know each other be supportive bottom of the deck slow down so pause and allow things to unfold somebody needs to take it easy and with the ace of pentacles right in the middle of the reading it is taking it taking it easy now let's have guardian angels we only have we are going to have only two um and then we'll go with the energies Nine of Pentacles, and it's interesting, you have Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, together is a Nine, and now you get the Nine, the single card. Um, so Libra, life is wonderful, amen, right? <laughs> life is wonderful. Um, your hard work and dedication to your dreams will provide you with great peace and contentment. Take time to enjoy quiet moments of reflection and leisure. Feel free to buy yourself small luxurious gifts, You've earned the financial security and independence you now enjoy. And we do have the Two of Thought, which is the Two of Swords in traditional tarot. So your angels have noticed that you're not moving forward. You have multiple options that you're uh, reviewing and you seem to be unable to choose. Ask your angels for signs as to what direction to take or just listen to your inner voice. Deep down, you know what to do. 
Hell yeah, we know what to do, right? I mean, if a Libra doesn't know what to do using um, her mind, his mind, well, what exactly? Anyways, let's see the energies. We need to get back into the flow and we do have expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. And um, be supportive, make a genuine effort to show you care, right? You have to show you care and now we have expression. So somebody needs to say to the other person, I do care for you. Um, Libra, what's going on? We do have surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. We do have doubt. Okay, I release the need to know all the answers. So I don't know if you are like a little PI trying to discover something. Well, you don't have to. It's okay to not have answers. And we do have commitment. Maybe you doubt a commitment. And honestly, we have the commitment card with the five of wands. Challenging, challenging times. And we have the tower with yourself, with your own energy. So maybe that you have a doubt that this commitment might work. And um, actually, the universe is kind of saying, come on, get to know him, get to know her, right? Be supportive, slow down. And you have commitment. So you dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. And Libra, we do have individuality, right? We don't have to blend the energies up to in existence, right? We have to stay different and be different and that's all right. So Libra, you leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. So kind of uh, the universe reminding you, you know what, Libra, you do, you are unique in your own way. And this person has love and lust for you. Just saying, it's all over the reading, even in the current moment and in the future, we, somebody is in trouble, somebody is on fire here. Doesn't look to be on your side. So I'm just saying, maybe this is your side. We don't know. But I'm sure you do know. Um, so Libra, this is all that I have for you. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. Please stay strong and safe for me. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.